Okay, in the last video, we went ahead and we looked at how to get all of these coordinates on the unit circle uh, by using special right triangles. In this video, which is going to be a real quick um, look at this, is that we're after the other coordinates that go ahead and they couldn't have a right triangle um, to go ahead and represent them because they're right on an axis. So therefore, what we're going to go ahead and do is we think about this, is that in a unit circle, the radius is 1. So if I go ahead and I extend this all the way on over here, okay, this is going to give me the coordinate, if this is 0, 0, then this is going to be 1, 0, okay, because this distance would be 1. Again, it can't make a triangle like this because it is going to um, not make a triangle with the x-axis, okay? So therefore, it is just going to be 1, 0. Likewise, if I were to look at this angle right here, okay? Again, I couldn't make a triangle with um, this because it's on an axis. And since this is 1, it's going to be 0, comma 1 up here, okay? And moving around the circle, uh, we're going to go to this part right here. And since we're going in the negative direction, this is going to be a negative 1, 0. And going in this direction down here, this is going to be 0, comma, negative 1. Okay? So now we have all the pieces put together, and we have all the greatest hits of the unit circle all filled in. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some things in general for the unit circle um, in regards to x and y and how it relates to sine and cosine values and how to um, start using that um, to make rewarding calculations. So, I'll see you in that next video.